war. War never changes. What is up guys? Hectic Sherlock here. Another day, another brand new quest mod by your boy Gaz Arts. He has seriously been at it. He's been seriously like working on and cranking out quest mods left and right now. I mean, I think he's like the one who's going to do it. He's the one who's going to save quest mods for both PC and Xbox and even PS4 because his quest mods go to all three, I guess... He, Two consoles and PC, so, I mean, seriously, I don't really see many people working on quest mods. I mean, you, you have people working on mods all the time for Fallout 4, but as far as quest mods go, not really. Maybe we'll see more quest mods coming along now that the uh, Bethesda and Creation Studio thing happened at E3, but, I mean, let's not really talk about Bethesda and E3 because I might get some hate on my channel. I don't want that. I don't want that. So let's just go ahead and focus on this description real quick. It says, as the world slowly heals from the ravages of a devastating war, locations long thought forgotten slowly begin to emerge again as floodwaters start to clear. The Brotherhood of Steel have found such a location not far from Kraut Manor. Vault 165 was one of the first vaults to go offline and disappear as the area around Kraut Manor sustained horrific flooding. But now it's back and is begging to be explored. This mod contains two quests and a vault to explore. And with that being said, guys, let's go ahead and jump right into it. Alright, so here we are, guys. Not in Sanctuary Points. We're actually in Diamond City because I, I got me a new gun. Uh, the MP40. I downloaded a mod for the MP40. And, uh, I mean, I haven't really tried it out yet. I think it's going to be cool. It looks kind of cool. Um, the only problem I really have with it is zooming in. I don't know, maybe that's just a, something on my end, but uh, we'll, we'll check it out, we'll see, we'll see how it goes, but anyway, to start the quest guys, we gotta find Kraup Manor, um, and from what I can tell, I mean, I don't have it on here yet, but it's supposed to be around right here, this is where it's supposed to be, so... I'm going to teleport to uh, the Nahant Sheriff's Department and we'll go ahead and check out the Kraut Manor, so. Alright, so I know I said it was at Kraut Manor, but when I went back and looked, uh, it was actually a little bit above Kraut Manor, so. <laughs> but here we are, we've made it, and so we're just going to go ahead and go to the vault now I don't know if it's underwater I doubt it is but it's very secluded out in this uh, open water area you see a dead guy with a fishing pole he died doing what he loved obviously so this is uh, it's kind of weird we see paladin Sh shepherd here uh, a vertebrate and a little, uh, I guess what used to be some sort of, okay, if I, if I had to guess, this used to be some sort of fishing spot for a uh, fisherman and, you know, I used to come here and there's a little sp a spot off the coast, you know, they fish here, this is, this is nice, but I, I mean, after the war... Stand down, stranger. This tomb is under the protection of the Brotherhood of Still. Did you just call this vault a tomb? And this dialogue takes forever. Affirmative, citizen. The Brotherhood came by this vault entrance after the waters in this area subsided. We made some repairs to the elevator system and installed the terminal. Yada yada yada, three years later. Come on now. Shouldn't take this long for dialogue. I'm trying to get into the mod. Elder Max and himself reclassified the vault as a tomb shortly after our first visit. A lot dead down there. Down there. Down there. 
Mm hmm. <laughs> Bucket. Mm hmm. You know, I've actually been known to get you still boys out of a few scrapes in the past. Just saying. I wish we, he would just hurry up and, you know, tell me I can go down there and explore. You'd be willing to go down there and clear them out for me? Why not? I am the sole survivor. Have you not heard of me? Have you not heard of moi? Alright, so he's giving me a passcode for the terminal because he's too scared and, uh, himself to go down there and do something that I clearly... I don't even have any power armor, but I'm just like, yeah, I'll go down there. I'll handle it. Leave it to me. Okay, so now we're getting uh, interesting. He said there's something down there that he can handle. Not the gunners. The gunners don't phase him one bit. He said there's something down there that he's uh he can handle. All right, guys, let's see what's down there. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Ooh, nice elevator music. This is always enjoy it's always enjoyable when you have good elevator music. Wish there was dance emotes in here. <laughs> Look, dog me just did a little wiggle. Even he likes the music. Whoa, what was that? Whoa. Thought we like just jumped or teleported somewhere for a second. Let me get my MP40 out. I think it's about to be a wild ride here, boys. No way to pick. All right, so we need a key. What the hell? Oh, mm. oh yeah, I forgot. Legendary people don't die really easily. Let me get my aim up. Oh come on! You just came around the corner, shoot! You didn't even know I was here. I wonder how hard it is gonna be to find uh, the key needed for the other door if we even need the key for the other door. Hold on. Got some loot here, some ammo loot. Always nice, always good to have that in any quest mod you encounter. You always wanna have ammo so you can shoot the baddies. Loot so you feel accomplished like you didn't just waste your time exploring whatever vault or uh, dungeon. And uh, yeah. I mean, that's just. Hold on, come on. Yeah, 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 you took a casualty. Why are you legendary? Ah, wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. Jesus, am I on fire? I've never actually had to battle people before because, of, you know, my other gun's really OP. It just kills people in one shot, so, you know, I don't really have to struggle. Do need to heal up though. Hold on. Since these guys are giving me a challenge, and it seems like I was just going the right way for a second there. Now I don't think so. Now everything's going to require a key again. Whoa! Hey, I remember seeing this in Gaz Art's uh, kind of like promotional video for this. For this mod, he had a little red bike, and I kind of remember some of the places I needed to go and some of the things I need to do. So, man, these guys are all over me. Look at them; they're they're everywhere, man. Holy crap! Nursery key. All right, so we're getting somewhere. We got a nursery key. I'm sure, there's gonna be other keys, other places. Small picture frame. Uh... Alright, Jacob's note. I saw Lisa again today. I'm not sure if it's a combination of the starvation or and delirium, but I saw her again. I was making my way back to quarters from clinic when I saw her leaving the nursery. This time, instead of running away in terror, I called out to her. I mean, why the hell not, right? She was my daughter. Oh, I tried asking her what she was doing here, but it was to no avail. She kept staring at me, coldly. 
I told her that she was dead and she needed to leave and be at peace. That she needed to leave the barren world, but she just got but she just kept looking at me with no emotion. I was just about to walk away when she spoke. She told me to leave the vault. Whether she's an hallucination or not, I've decided to lock up the nursery. Irene protested as I knew she would, but it's for the best. Oh man. That's good though. I mean that guy's daughter was obviously looking out for him, even though she wasn't even herself. Some part of her was still there, enough to tell her dad that he needed to leave the very place she was about she was about to haunt the hell out of. What the heck? Why is this doesn't even know I'm here. Uh, <laughs> body went flying. I don't know why this person was just staring at that body, but uh, it's creepy. Probably playing tic tac toe. Why tic tac? No, probably playing pop paper rock scissors. That makes more sense. Why did I say tic tac toe? What the heck? I don't know, guys. I, so far. So good. Not really too scary. Me that. Okay, it's creepy how these guys are just sitting here. I don't understand whether they're hostile or not. But I mean, if it gives me the option to pacify, I'm assuming that they're hostile, right? Oh, and then, because this is the game rooms. You got some games here. You can play them all on this time. I thought that was pretty cool. And then he, you know, he put all the games there for you. So you know, if you don't have the games, you can always. Uh, Sit there and take them all or play them all or whatever you want. That's a nice addition. Thank you, guys. For the people who don't have the games, now you do. We're rolling here. We're making uh, making some lead way. Oh, yeah, I can Sandman kill. I haven't done that in a while. Oh, there's supposed to be some animation to sand mini killing. Oh, no. I think there is, but we have as many mods as I have <laughs> installed. The animation is just you and then. I have no idea where I'm going. But I think I am where I need to be as far as um, heading in the right direction because I'm sure. I don't understand. Yes, this is the creepy part. You have real life people sitting next to dead people like it's just okay. Like this is how it's supposed to be. Yeah, <laughs> she died with her shades on, man. She's too cool for me. Who dies like that? All right, we're gonna look at Doctor Martin's terminal real quick. See what we can find. I'll just look over it so you guys can at least, you know. Uh, Pause the video and read it if you want to. I never really, uh... Overseer Lazarus? That's a weird name. I mean, mainly because if you know Lazarus... Oh, what? What? You were... Hold on. What the heck? <laughs> no! I thought I was just gonna let you get up. And, like, murder me. No, but yeah, Lazarus said, uh, coming back to life. These, these things are unanimous with each other. I feel like we need to go maybe the other way. I'm not sure, but I think it's supposed to be on this floor. Well, I've already killed the person on this floor. Alright, so I'm gonna just go the other way real quick and see. Because I thought maybe, yeah, I think we were supposed to go this way, but this requires the key. So I came from that way. Let's see what's this way. Maybe I just went in one huge circle. Yeah, because this is the entrance. Alright, so yeah, I did. I went in one big circle. I guess I need to find the nursery. I have the key to that, so... Am I taller than these things or something? Oh, I keep running into an invisible wall and stuff? That's so weird. Yes. All right, so now I got Vault 165 Atrium Ski. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I guess I couldn't touch his actual body. And, I mean, if I had to guess, the Atrium Ski is probably going to be... that place right there in the middle. Okay, come on, Dogmeat. Really? We're doing this today, Dogmeat? Thanks for that, Dogmeat. I 
should just lock you in here. If I could, I would. Yeah, so now we're gonna, I guess we're gonna try to go down right here in the middle. This should be the key for this, right? Yeah, buddy, we are rolling. You're getting it, man. We're almost there. You gotta be careful because you don't know who's dead or who's alive. Or where you'll find a hidden key. Not that I just found a hidden key. Okay, alright, so here we Oh, wait a minute! I, I don't know how I was supposed to. I was gonna fight you, dude. Jesus. If I'd have known that, I would have just stayed hidden. I thought maybe I'll talk to you or something. Alright, now we got the overseer. Keys, and this says report back to Officer. De but we haven't went to the nursery yet. I don't understand. Maybe the next quest will be go will be to go to the nursery. So I mean, I'm not gonna get over hyped here yet, or over upset rather, and just be like, "Oh man, I'm done." No, you didn't even do what you're supposed to. But give it a second. We'll give it a second. We'll see. Whoa! Oh, dog meat's taking an L over there. Hold on, let me. Dog, how'd you get over here? Well, since we're over here, got a little loot box. This is a bathroom. Probably some stim packs in here. Ammo radax. Yep, a stim pack. Another stim pack. I'm almost positive there'll be something up here, but I mean, I want to go ahead and complete this quest first and then probably come back to uh, go to the nursery. I'm sure that's what he's going to have us do, so. Where did I just stumble myself into? Oh, the games room. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. For, okay. That's kind of confusing. Uh, what? We got some board games and oh, this is the nursery. Oh crap! All right, guys, we'll talk to Lisa. Hi, you're new, and definitely not like the others. I don't know why I'm going to try a female voice here, but okay. I don't usually talk to grown-ups, but can you help me? Why, of course I can, Lisa, because I think you're supposed to be dead. You know, this quest would be a lot better with some commentary. I don't know, guys. What do you think, man? You want to start petitioning for... Uh, some people for some free commentary. I mean, there's people out there that'll do it, man. Seriously. And I would be happy to do commentary for you. She says her mom and dad brought her here on that scary day. How can I help? A long time ago, I got pretty sick. Everybody was worried. Radiation. I'm, I'm pretty sure she's talking about radiation. Oh, don't look so nervous. As you can see, I got better. <laughs> I wasn't looking nervous. I think my character's stone face, but that's me nervous. But before I got sick, I lost my precious locket my mother gave to me for my birthday. Oh, no. That's, that's so sad. We gotta go get a locket, boys. Do the right thing and shoot her in the face. If you can find it for me, I'm pretty sure I'll be able to leave this place. Okay, so we gotta help... Free this poor girl's soul by finding her mother's locket. Let's do it, guys. And that is the start of the second quest. Now, I'm going to go ahead and turn in the first quest real quick before starting the second quest. That way, I can have at least one of the two quests done for this uh, quest mod. Now, I just got to figure out how to get out of here, honestly. I okay, I'm sure I need to go back up here. Uh, maybe go this way. Leave it to me to get myself lost. Like, oh! Whoa! Hold on.
Oh yeah, yeah, this way. All right, so yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and turn in that quest to Paladin real quick and. Then we'll start the next quest. Uh huh. <laughs> yeah, sure it is. <laughs> Yeah, we're gonna take a second here and do this really long dialogue. Yeah, a few of our teams have spotted her from time to time. She can often disappear before we can make any verbal contact. Well, that's because you guys are probably wearing huge suits of armor and carrying, you know, really heavy machine guns. And uh, I'm sure she doesn't want to talk to anyone who looks that dangerous, you freaking pleb. I mentioned her in my last report, but the Brotherhood just scoffed. Not many people see her, even less admit it. <laughs> and I just come out here like a madman. Hey man, that's a little girl down there, dude. How come? How can you tell me about it, bro? Huh? Uh huh. <laughs> you know, just lie to him. I mean, I don't understand. I, I don't really know what other option there is besides telling him that. I mean, I'm almost positive he's not gonna go down there himself. I don't think he cares either way, and I told him, I was like, almost completely, so, I mean, the little girl's obvious, this is kind of just me saying, you know, the little girl's still down there, so. Yeah, because you're uh -huh. freaking put. And then, you know, he gives you some caps, so that's good, it's a Let's you know you did a job well done. They don't just leave you, uh... I don't know what to say, I guess. Empty-handed for your troubles. But that's that's how you complete that quest. Cleansing Fault 165. Even though it's technically not cleansed yet. We gotta find this little girl's locket. And that's what we're gonna do, guys. We're gonna find her locket, so... Hush, dog meat. What? <gasps> What? No! Dog me, no! Guys, dog me to ghost now. He wasn't right there, you guys saw it. I'm done. I'm watching you. Oh god, look at that lifeless stare. Run! Before he kills me! Where am I going? Oh, it's Lisa! Hey, Lisa! Uh. <laughs> We're just gonna go find your locket and get out of here. Alright, so it's supposed to be, I guess, all. Well, where the. Where did you come from and why? So I'm guessing it's supposed to be down here somewhere. We're just gonna look for it. Probably uh, in the main atrium somewhere. Yeah, look, see, it's down there. I don't know if it goes. Oh! Oh! Was those scissors? Was those like a big thing of scissors? Holy, those are some huge scissors. Jesus, guys, I'm trying to look at the scissors. Man, you guys are so rude. <laughs> Barber. Yeah, <laughs> scissors this big because, you know, they got, they got some thick hair to cut. Okay, let's just be real. They were probably cutting people's heads completely off. With those scissors. You guys were so unprofessional. Using gag scissors to cut people's hair? Man, really? Honestly, I thought that guy threw those scissors at me. I see them flying. I was like, what the heck? Did you just throw scissors at me? Things are huge. Don't have the key. What? What do you mean we don't have the key? We have like a master key, but we don't have the key. Yeah, it makes sense. So now we gotta find the key for this place, and there's no telling where it's gonna be. Um, so we're just gonna 
I'm look around for it. Probably gonna go upstairs. Oh man, that is kind of creepy now. Is this a shrine to Lisa? Let's be careful to not knock anything over. Alright guys, you did good, man, because that, that was really creepy. And that door's chained. But look at here, we got the overseer's key. I don't know why, I kind of got quiet. I was expecting like a jump scare or something. Is, are jump scares possible, Fallout? They probably are. Let me not... Let me just, uh... Okay, we got a safe here. Let's see what's in the safe. Ammo, money, same old, same old. Let's look at the overseer logs. Let's see what we can find here. First day of the rest of our lives. You know, it's funny. We've all overseers spend years preparing for this inevitable day, but it would seem you're never quite prepared for when the doors are sealed. Thankfully, all the vault personnel made it here in the nick of time. According to the last report we received, the flood banks in the area have broken, meaning the entrance will be completely submerged underwater by now. Here's to a bright and productive future for us all. Yeah, I mean, you just basically figure that you're screwed, but I mean, whatever. All departments are reporting green across the board, ex all except hydroponics, who have reported some disturbing news. It would seem that the fertilizers our vault was provided with was faulty. Our herpetologist has noted that all the important minerals needed to aid plant growth are missing. Nitrogen, potassium, and phosphorus all gone. Here, Vault Tech really have just given us basic mud. And then, you know, it seems that there is a rapid decline of uh, food and probably chaos ensued. But this is what happened with Lisa. It is with deep regret and profound sadness that I inform you all of the passing of Lisa Wells, daughter of Jacob and Irene Wells. As most of you are aware, Lisa was a beautiful child who always lit up our, a room with her radiant smile. After favoring her games to schooling, Lisa could always be found in attendance at the vault nursery where she would engage in fun activities with the other children. Many residents have mentioned how they often hear her playing while performing duties and it always brought a smile to their face. No matter our circumstances here in Vault 165, you could always count on Lisa to be the ray of sunshine we all needed when the times were hard. Due to confidential reasons, Lisa's ill health was only known by a select few we ask you all now to give your prayers and wishes to Jacob and Irene. God bless Lisa and may you rest in peace, Overseer Lazarus. And so it seems she was a uh, huge, huge component. This is cute. I'm not going to lie. Look at that. That is so cute. That is adorable. Is that like a little tiny Codsworth with little arms and a body? I'm taking that. That's mine now. But it seems she was a huge component. Um... And really, what kept this vault alive, more or less? I don't. I, I mean that in the sense that, as you can see, she was adored by. Oh, wow. Okay. Whoa. Holy crap. Man, we hit the jackpot. A lot of ammo. A lot of goods. You guys definitely need to get this stuff if you can. And here's the recreation room key, and some more overseer logs. Uh, I don't know exactly what's happening in this, but, oh god, we're going to slowly poison the cafeteria food supply, they can't fight us if they're too weak to fight, yo, no, their first casualty of the poisoning plan was Lisa Wells, yeah, you're gonna burn for this. And then Lisa Wells is like, I know what you did, I know what you did, I know what you did. Oh my god. That is crazy. So it seemed like, you know, because things were getting dire here, they decided to start poisoning people. The very vault dwellers that they were, like, I mean, it's crazy. They were literally given this job to protect them. This vault was supposed to be in case of the worst uh, case scenario of an atomic war and so these guys were selected 
to protect these people and make sure that they could survive through a post-apocalypse situation, not poison them. Man, sometimes the mod developers, uh, you know, people like Gaz and other people create such crazy diabolical backstories to uh, these quest mods. And man, I I'm here for it. I love it. I'm not going to lie. It's always pretty cool to see some real backstory plot uh, to why things are like they are here in the these vaults. I almost thought this thing was going to come alive and attack me. I mean, could you imagine just being down here and then it just like powers up and they got like a technical mini boss fight? That would have been cool, you know? But we got what we came here to get and we're going to go give uh, this back to Lisa and hopefully her spirit finds peace from this, you know? <laughs> I feel like dog meat somewhere waiting to pop out and scare the living crap out of me. Dog meets the real jump scare here. Oh, look at my character smiling. He knows he's did a good deed. And MP40 looks pretty deep nice in my hand. I'm not going to lie. Shout out to the mod creator of uh, the MP40. I don't particularly know his name off the top, but uh, I'll put it in the description because seriously, this is a good gun. You guys, you guys should try it out. And that's it. That is the second quest to this uh, two quest and a vault quest mod. And so if I'm not mistaken, that's it guys. That is all there is to uh, Vault 165, or my bad, The Haunting of Vault 165. I mean, as you can see, it was pretty uh, interesting story as to what happened to uh, the people here. And I'll probably never find <laughs> my way out of here, so I'll just become part of the... Uh, <laughs> part of the scenery, but... Yeah, what do you guys think? Um, that's pretty much it for this video, honestly, because, I mean, there's nothing else to really... I mean, we, we kind of explored pretty much all of, uh... You know, it's good. I'll just chill here with Lisa. We pretty much explored all of, uh, the vault, I think, for the most part, at least. We completed both quests. We, uh, hopefully she'll, she'll leave. Maybe. I mean, she's still here, but... Hopefully she'll leave uh, if we maybe exit the vault and come back in. Um, this was a pretty good quest mod. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed the backstory to the uh, reason why this vault looked the way it did. What do you guys think? Did you like it? Um, would you guys want more haunting quest mods in the future? More uh, mysterious quest mods? I know I would. I, I'm always a big fan of the mystery and the uh, overall backstory to why things are the way they are in Fallout. I'll definitely, I'll give this a seven, seven and a half. I mean, not much to do. It was a small quest mod, but I mean, hey, it fills the role of there being more quest mods in Fallout 4, which we definitely need. So thank you, Gas Arts, for fulfilling uh, an important role to us mod players out here. Seriously. You're doing us a great service. But that's all I have for you guys. As usual, thanks for watching. You guys rock and peace.